What's up, everybody? Paul Hickey here with Data Driven Design. Thank you for watching the WordPress show. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix product schema issues in Google Search Console using a WordPress plugin called WP SEO Schema and the pro version of it. So as many other clients in the past have had an issue where Google Search Console will say product schema missing within Google Search Console. And sometimes it might be a URL field or a pricing field or basically what it is always referring to is a particular piece of information about the product is not in the schema code for Google Search Console. So there's actually a relatively easy fix. To implement schema on all of our websites, we use a plugin called WP SEO Schema. Now, the free version of WP SEO Schema will put schema on pages and posts, but not on custom post types. So WooCommerce products are technically custom post types. So what you need to do to implement schema on those using WP SEO Schema is actually have the pro version of the plugin. So as you can see here in my plugins installed on this website, I've got WP SEO Structured Data Schema and WP SEO Structured Data Schema Pro. And what that allows me to do is go into the settings of the WP SEO schema. And you can see here under schema settings, I have product checked. And if there's any other custom post types in your site and you have the WP SEO schema plugin activated, the pro version, you'll see the other custom post types listed here. So when I checked product, it put the same WP SEO schema settings under all products as it has under pages and posts for the free version of the plugin. So you can see here, here's the WP SEO schema structured data. And I put in all of the required fields, the photo, name, description, SKU, brand, MPN, identifier, ratings, um, the currency, the price, price valid in stock, and the product URL. And then once I saved it, I submitted those changes back through Google Webmaster Tools. I'm gonna to show you that. So under products, this was the issue that the client was having. And you can see the missing fields here. So see those missing fields. After I added the fields that I was showing you in the WP SEO schema plugin, I resubmitted the sitemap to Google Webmaster Tools, as you can see here and I requested the indexing after submitting the sitemap to fetch the page, fetch the product page under the URL inspection tool. And then that actually fixed the error. All of these warnings, these seven warnings here were fixed. And that is how to use WP SEO structured data schema to fix your issues. And now you can see here in the Google Search Console, there are no errors related to the products and we're all set. So this is an important SEO item for any WordPress store to fix your structured data schema related to your product information so that your store can be perfectly SEO optimized. Thanks again for watching the WordPress show. For more free WordPress tips, go to datadriven.design. And if you want to do business with me, email me directly at paul at data driven .design. Thanks and have a great day.